Welcome to an alphabet of fairy by tales of fay and folk, and the letter A. In this snippet of folklore, we will look at the Alp, the Aguana, and the Amadanyabriona. The Alp is a frightening and almost vampiric fairy creature from Germany, where she is also known as Ma, Schrat and Volreiber. In England she would be known as the Old Hag or the Nightmare. She feeds not on blood, but the peace and energy of sleeping victims. She is succubus-like draining the life from her victims, sitting or pressing down upon their chests, shortening their breaths and disturbing their dreams. It is said that the Alpa get into your house through the keyholes or tiny holes that you know nothing about. However, if you plug these holes while they are in your house or in your room, you can force them to promise that they will never, ever harm you again. As with many fairies, they also have an aversion to iron implements, so keeping these things around the house will help keep them out. Also, so will placing your shoes by your bed with the toes pointing outwards. So, what can you do if you wake and you find an alp pressing down upon your chest? Well, it is said that if you place your thumb in the palm of your hand, they will have to release you. Another creepy thing that these fairies are prone to doing is sucking the sleeper's hair while they sleep, creating knots and braids. Beware incurring the wrath of sorcerers, because some of these can summon the Alper, especially those whose eyebrows meet in the middle. From the centre of their eyebrows will emerge the tiniest butterfly, and this will transform into an Alp. Alper can also be a nuisance with farm animals. They will ride horses that have no protection against the fairies in the night until the poor exhausted animals can gallop no more. They are prone to riding chairs too, and the only way to prevent the clatter in the night is to keep moving the chairs to a different place before bed. It has been known that they will also persecute cattle, pigs and sheep, eventually crushing the poor animals to death. However, Placing a besom broom in the barn where the animals are housed will prevent attacks by the Alpa. The Iguana is a fairy from northern Italy and the Austrian and Slavic borderlands. These shape-shifting fairy creatures are females. Their true appearance are beautiful women with long flowing hair the size of a human, or a little smaller, dressed in furs and pelts. And they have the most beautiful voices, completely entrancing. How can you tell if a fairy you have seen is an iguana? Well, if you look carefully at her feet, you will find they are shaped as the hooves of horses, or cloven hooved as a goat's foot. Sometimes these fairy creatures will take the shapes of old hag-like females, old or young in aspect. You can find them by streams and wandering the mountains where they are the guardians of place. Before you place one foot in any mountain stream or pool, you must keep yourself safe by asking the permission 
of the iguana of that place. Should any man not respect her stream or pool and swirl the water, making it muddy, she will be furious. She will snake her hair around his legs and feet, a trap he will not be able to escape, and she will drag him to the depths, her victim, to drown him, or even to take him to her lair to use him as a sensual plaything, and then eat him. And yet the iguana are said to love children, especially the younger ones. They will happily carry these children around on their watery backs, tossing a pendulous breast over one shoulder so that the youngster can suckle, hold on and be safe. Amadan Nabriona is a strange trickster fairy creature from Ireland, who is also called the Fool of the Forth and the Fool of the Fairy Mounds. He is a shapeshifter as many fairies are, changing shape every two days. When appearing in male human form, his body is said to look extremely wide and he wears a red scarf. Strangely, another shape he can take is that of a sheep with a beard. On meeting this fairy creature, you must greet him with the words, the Lord be between us and no harm. Should he merely touch you, you would fall into madness or at the very worst, death. The month of June is the time of the year when he is mostly found throwing bowls at people, scaring them by popping up from behind the hedges or banging on doors late at night. There is an Irish saying that tells, to meet the Amadan is to be in prison forever. I hope you enjoyed this time's telling of tales. Take care, brightest of blessings and remember, don't play with the fairy folk or you may end up in one of my folk tales yourself.